Yes, yeah. they've been for 27 years, and on intercity trains, the operating loss has been cut by a fifth. The earnings from first-class travel are up, while on the catering side, BR broke the 8 million sandwich barrier. But they admit their success in attracting more passengers has led to serious overcrowding. This is being tackled by timetable changes, laying on extra trains and extending platforms. But they've warned staff that the increase in rail travel can be sustained only if the quality of service improves. Critics argue BR charges high fares but doesn't even guarantee ordinary travellers a seat. So isn't today's admission that service is patchy an understatement? I'm talking totally about our system and totally right across the board. Mainly everyone gets a seat and gets to where they want to go reasonably in time at a proper price. There are bad bits here and there, particularly at the peak, where the demand is so great that passengers have to stand. At the moment, BR are getting £800 million a year in government subsidies. They expect to reduce that by half in 1990. On the question of future ownership, they say the starting point should be that Britain needs a railway system giving the customer the best competitive service but they'll need to earn surpluses for at least another three years before privatisation can become a real possibility.